everyone to spend a few moments and look at the structure and the harmonic progressions in a song by They Might Be Giants called Birdhouse in Your Soul. This one has some very interesting modulations and uh, I think if voiced a certain way it, it almost sounds like a classical piece in places so mm -hmm. I thought I would do some of that and just give an idea of what's going on with the modulations and the progression in general. If you've not yet done so, please check out the playlists on my channel. There's a lot of material. I think there's 32 playlists at this point. So you might find something that you're interested in. If you have friends or forums that you go to or talk with, please let them know about this channel if you think they might be interested in it. And I always look forward to your comments. Please give a like if you can, subscribe if you're not. And if you'd like to send me a tip, that would be very nice. My PayPal information is in the details below in the description. So they might be giants, birdhouse in your soul. It starts off basically C major to D minor, immediately E flat to F. So there's this relationship of chords that are keys that are a major third of or minor third apart, sorry. But it does harmonize a major scale, C with an E up top, D with an F up top, but E flat with a G up top, and F with an A up top. So we've gotten rid of that, uh, the diatonic third degree. a little bit like that. So I'm just playing regular old standard chords. I should note too that I'm tuned a little bit differently to be in tune with the record. The record is in between A440 and something else. They might have pitched the tape if they recorded this in analog or pitched the digital a little differently to get a different a different key center or a different tempo. People do that in post-production. So I'm tuned to the recording. But the opening line, if you take it as a little two voice counterpoint, here I am at C and C eighth fret of the sixth and first strings, walking up to D, which would be our D minor. But then we include this B flat, which announces the arrival of this E flat major. So 8 and 8, C and C, D and C, down to B flat, 6th fret, and then 6 and 8, E flat and G. You can move that up a whole step. F and A, 10, sorry, 8 and 10. And then, same thing roughly down a whole step, but we're gonna change the turnaround. So B flat, 6 and 6 then a, a C bass note on the third fret of the fifth string. That same now A flat note on the fourth fret, but the relationships are the same. So this would be D flat major. I'm just outlining it with two voices, but rather than going up to E flat, they want to get to the key of C again. So now we pair that, that F note with a D in the bass. That's fifth, fifth string, fifth fret. And then they play G in the bass, which more or less this is outlining G7, the strongest way to set up C. C, D minor, E flat, F, B flat, C minor, D flat, G. I don't know if I need to go over those chords, maybe I will. Three, five, 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 seven, seven, six, six, eight, 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 ten, 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 one, three, three, three. 
3554-4666 and then the the entire chord is going to be G7 35346 if you want the what he sings there up top third fret of the first string so and now we get a little a little drum intro and we're going to get to the chords proper now so this is could be straight out of a Bach chorale it's C chord here maybe I'll do this one three five 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 C G C E and then the bass is gonna walk down so C with an E low open six string because that, that approaches F so this would be C root position this would be C first inversion Then C in second inversion, C with the G in the bass. This is three, five, 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 but now our G is on the sixth strings, third fret. And these could come right out of a Bach chorale. So F over A, first inversion, five, three, five, A, F, C, up a whole step, B, G, D, seven, five, seven. Here I'm grabbing eight, ten, nine, C, G, E, a little three note chord. Back down to G over B, seven, five, seven, F over A, five, three, five, and then a real F chord root position. Our friend, uh, one, three, three, two, one, one. And that's gonna take us to E flat major, kind of a pivot chord there. So that was C with an E in the bass to F to C over G, to F over A, to G over B, to C, G over B, F over A, F. E flat, six, eight, 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 E flat, B flat, E flat, G, regular old A flat major bar chord, four, six, six, five, four, four. And now we have to get from E flat back to, to C. So they're going to go E flat, 6, 8, 8, 8. C minor. It's really quick. 3, 5, 5, 4. And then the 4 chord. And 1 and 4 in this song are really important. You'll notice that the first thing we did was go 1 to 4. Now we're going E flat, C minor, A flat, that's four, six, six, five, four, four, and down to G7 again. So shades of the intro. So G7 again, three, five, three, four, three, three. I'm going quick through these numbers because I'm assuming people know these chords. If not, uh, rewind the video. Notice I said rewind. C. And now we get to kind of a verse. So one to four, C to F. Then a little like old songwriting style. C, G over B, C7. The five of four. So C major, G over B. I'm playing two open, open, three, three. 
now C7, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3. Now F to G. Same. And now a very interesting part. This is going to be also our instrumental bridge, but A minor, open five, five uh, open two, two, one, open. And then to F, one, three, three, two, one, one. And then this little rise that would normally go to G, but now we're going to use A minor to F to D7 over F sharp, first inversion D7 chord. This is two, open, open, two, one. So A minor to F to D7 over F sharp to F. And then we're going to need to go to G. And then again our... All the same E flat to A flat. We've done all this. F C. Now we're coming to the instrumental, which is just A minor to F to D7 over F sharp to F. A minor to F to D7 over F sharp to F. And now interesting F sharp minor to D. So this is really different. F sharp minor, two, four, four, two, two, two. I'm going to D, five, seven, seven, seven. Do, 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 do. And then what was it here? Yes. This is a B, B major chord in first inversion. F sharp minor to D to B. F sharp minor to D. And so then this is six, four, seven, seven. First inversion, B major chord. D sharp, B, F sharp, B to D. So it's the same pattern we had here, but modulated. Very interesting. And now we're gonna have a walk down. E major, seven, nine, nine, nine. E major over D or E7 over D, third inversion. Five, four, five, four. So it looks like a little D shape with the bass in a different place. Then how about A over C sharp? Four, two, five, five. And then E over B. So the bass line. B in the bass, it's been a straight scale down to A. E7 even. And now, now we're here. Sorry. So now we're going to use our intro again. We started in C. To B flat, and now we're going to get it in A, and then G. G. I'll go over that. So A. Well, after. So now A to B minor. Open two two two. Minor two four four three to C three five 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 to D five seven 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 and now G I'm just playing two fingers three three open open three I'm skipping the fifth string to A minor open two two one to B flat one three 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 to G and 
upper back. So this is two, open, open, three. I'm sorry if I'm going fast. And G, G in the bass, third fret of the six strings. So that was, um, A to B minor to C to D to G to A minor to B flat to G. And now we're back to our, uh, our verse again. So I hope if you're a fan of this song or if you've never heard it that you enjoyed this little breakdown. It took me all of, oh my, I'm sorry, 16 minutes. A lot of parts, a lot of modulations, but it's an interesting tune. If you've stayed this long, God bless you. Really, I appreciate it. That's amazing. And as always, I do sincerely wish you a very good day.